Hello peeps, hope you're all happy, healthy and strong and you've set your intentions going into this new moon cycle. I have and I am and um, I'm just going to go for a little walk, see what's occurring and, uh, and during the walk I'm going to show you a few little bits of some of the footage I shot last week. It's incredible, so you just don't know what you're going to see. Um, I was up here last night trying to film some comet footage and I could actually see it um, but it was too faint amongst the cloud to even get a lock with the camera I tried and I tried the night before there was no chance but I'll, I'll be out there again I'm looking for clear nights because there's a lot of bright stars out tonight apparently Saturn's really bright Jupiter's really close to the to the to the earth and uh, yeah we got a new moon last night I seen the shooting star and uh, discovered the glow worms up here I didn't even know about them no one's even mentioned them to me so it's all discovery anyway let's move on Bees are all over this. I see a few flies as well. You know, there's something about this place. I'm still seeing species I've never seen before, especially with the butterflies. Well, just this little spot here, the bees and the butterflies are absolutely loving it. Right, I'm going to move along this little trail. I don't normally come here too often. But last week I shot some interesting footage which I'm quite intrigued by really. I'm going to knock the camera off because I have to skip along here quite quickly.
So, I shot a little bit of footage here the other day and there was an interesting sunbeam. I'll leave that open. So I showed that footage to my friend Andy who uh, he does like, he catches some incredible photographs, paranormal often. And um, but I, I wanted to know what he thought about about it like and he asked me what attracted you to the tree well you know I was intrigued but I do have an affinity to yew trees and I always have time for them and I'll go and give them a little pat or something but there was something I can't describe what it was and I stopped and I filmed and when I reviewed the footage well you tell me what you think but was that a little orb shooting out at the end? Unfortunately I missed lots of the footage because I was a little bit startled and I was trying to get an angle because I thought it was lens flare and, uh, and so I'd have loved to have caught you know the more intense light but there we go that's how it goes and I've today I've just come back to see what the atmosphere is like now this little clip I'm doing now I just kept getting my words mixed up and I, this is about take six and um, so I don't know <laughs> I don't know I think they are very beautiful trees and you can almost see faces in the bark and I always think they they just seem mystical trees to me and this is a, a great specimen Well, it's certainly a nice, peaceful spot to sit and ponder for a while. But I'm all pondered out now. I'm going to go home and have my tea and upload this. Let me know what you think about the footage here with the sunbeam. Um, because that's, that's the first thing anyone's going to say. It's a sunbeam. I've never seen a sunbeam that sharp before. Uh, there was just something about it. The shimmer. So that's why I really want to know what you think. So let me know in the comments. And I'll speak to you all again soon. Love you all. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.